So the big man at OpenAI has finally said it. AI agents will shape 2025 and these AI agents will change the way we do our daily work. Only that we won't be doing it, AI will be doing it for us. From basic tasks like booking a holiday online to writing a stinker mail to one of those colleagues who doesn't help you out with work, AI will do everything that you want. But then what are these AI agents? Are these robots or machines or similar to the existing AI assistants like maybe a Siri or an Alexa or some AI on steroids? What is it? So let me break it down for you in this video. What are AI agents? How do they work? and how will they impact the AI ecosystem this year and the years to come forward all will be explained in this video. So first let's answer the what. Imagine a digital assistant like Siri that not only answers your questions but also makes decisions for you, learns from your experiences and your behavior online and then adapts to do all of the tasks. It's basically AI on automation. So you can think of it as a sophisticated problem solver that can work autonomously with minimal guidance or intervention. So basically I would not have to instruct it to do anything and it will just automate and do the tasks for me. Now it can navigate traffic using autonomous cars, analyze your financial records to help you you know, get better investment advice from the AI and so on. These kind of tasks will be automated and AI will be helping you around. So you can assume it that Siri or Alexa are thinking on their own, making decisions for us because Siri and Alexa know how we work online, which is why they are smart enough to take these decisions for us. But then how is this thing working? So at their core, AI agents function through three primary steps, perception, reasoning, and then action, which is the last and the most important bit. First, let's talk about perception here. The AI agents collect all of the data from the environment using sensors, inputs like cameras, microphones, or digital signals. Any data that's online can also be used by these AI agents. For example, uh, a home system might use the temperature sensors to monitor what is the temperature uh, in the house according to the climate outside. So this is one way of collecting data. Next is reasoning. The agent will then process this data that it's collected, relying on the algorithms, the rules, and everything that the coder have fed into the machines. Now, be, these are basically language models, and they then will decide what needs to be done with that data. Finally, the action stage will come where the agent will execute these decisions based on the analysis of that data. Now, the feedback will allow the agents to continuously adapt and keep learning from the environment, from how humans are interacting with it. And basically this entire ecosystem will be automated in the future. But then the AI that exists today, even that's intuitive, right? How are existing AI different from the AI agents? So you have AI and automation. Now there's always a need for you to do an action based on an output of a model. So agency is that means that brings the AI and automation together so that based on what you are interacting with a model, you can also take an action. So agents are a means to bring AI and automation together to take an action. Now the thing is many of the current existing AI models are task specific. They excel at performing a single job like maybe translations or suggesting you where you would watch your favorite movie, what kind of recipe these ingredients will cook up. However, the models lack the kind of autonomy that agents do. They're not adaptable as such. Now, they still require human input and that's where AI agents are very different. But guess what? AI agents are already operating in 2025. So we are using internally agents in the talent and HR side of the world. We're using them already in the procurement side of the world. We actually have agents deployed in the consulting arm in partnership with the IBM software arm. They together are actually deploying uh, agents for our clients in the form of a platform called Consulting Advantage, wherein the agents are directly deployed for customer processes. So we have agents already in the works. 2025 is going to be more evolution of agent next. What we're saying is agents are already here. They will be much, much more widely used. So which are these industries that will benefit the most? 
from these AI agents? We, we believe agents will have uptake in three industries straight away that we can see. One is talent as far as recruitment within the talent cycle. The second is the financial services, whether it is preparing a balance sheet, whether it is calculations or whether it is reconciliation of your financial data. And the third is healthcare industry, especially because a lot of processes that are there, which is front ending to the patient that land there, agents will start to play a bigger role there. So yes, experts believe that an evolved version of AI agents will be the talking point in 2025 because AI agents already exist. It's just that they have to be developed more right now. With companies like OpenAI and Microsoft already working on such a tech, even Google unveiled its plans for generative AI agents. The age of autonomous AI is not far, trust me. And if we keep going like this, even your smartphones, the ones you use today, could have these AI agents within themselves and you practically might not require any apps on your phone. You could just talk from one phone to the other using these agents and they will do everything for you. Just imagine. So this was a quick video on AI agents. Hope you found the information uh, helpful because yes, these agents will come and evolve in 2025. And I am surely excited about these. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section how they will change the entire AI ecosystem. And as always, for more tech, please follow us. This is Cyrus signing off. Take care.